recognizing the early symptoms of acute HIV infection. Hello friends, welcome to Mark Medicals. Did you know that there are specific symptoms of HIV you will experience soon after exposure to an HIV positive partner? How do you differentiate flu-like symptoms from real HIV infection? I hope all my followers today are familiar with HIV, right? You guys know how HIV is transmitted, its consequences when left untreated, and the devastating impact it can have on a person's immune system, potentially leading to AIDS. Did you know that thousands of HIV infections remain undiagnosed for years, during which the virus silently erodes the immune system? This video explores the crucial topic of recognizing acute HIV infection, also known as acute retroviral syndrome, and emphasizes the importance of early diagnosis and treatment. Acute HIV infection presents a unique window for intervention. During this stage, the virus is highly transmissible due to an extremely elevated viral load. Identifying acute infection is not only essential for better patient prognosis but also for preventing further transmission. Symptoms of acute HIV infection can be quite unspecific, often resembling a common cold or flu. However, careful observation can reveal vital clues. Many patients experience a flu-like syndrome, with symptoms akin to infectious mononucleosis, colloquially known as the kissing disease. Infectious mononucleosis, caused by the Epstein-Barr virus, EBV, primarily affects schoolchildren and teenagers. However, acute HIV infection differs in some key ways. While both share symptoms like fever, malaise, muscle pain, sore throat, and swollen lymph nodes. Acute HIV rarely presents with the distinctive swollen tonsils seen in mononucleosis. Instead, your doctor should look for mouth sores, shallow whitish ulcers with surrounding redness, and oral candidiasis, unusual in infectious mononucleosis. Patients with acute HIV infection may also develop a generalized maculopapular rash, particularly pronounced on the trunk, chest, neck, and face, which is uncommon in infectious mononucleosis. Additionally, gastrointestinal problems such as diarrhea and rapid weight loss are more indicative of acute HIV. In some cases, acute HIV infection may present as aseptic meningitis, characterized by severe headaches and fever. While less common than the mononucleosis-like syndrome, clinicians should consider HIV as a potential cause when diagnosing unexplained symptoms. Understanding the patient's demographics and risk factors is crucial. Infectious mononucleosis typically affects teenagers and schoolchildren, while most individuals contract EBV by age 25. Therefore, a patient over 25 exhibiting mononucleosis-like symptoms should raise suspicion of other potential causes, including HIV. High-risk behaviors like unprotected sex and intravenous drug use increase the likelihood of HIV transmission. While discussing these behaviors with patients can be challenging due to stigma and taboo, it's vital to establish a connection between their recent activities and current symptoms. Furthermore, Consider the possibility of co-infections, especially sexually transmitted diseases, STDs, which can facilitate HIV transmission. Even if a patient hesitates to discuss these issues openly, suggesting HIV testing can lead them in the right direction. When discussing testing, sensitivity and empathy are essential. Patients may react with fear, defensiveness, or offense, so it's crucial to explain why testing is necessary and provide support throughout the process. In summary, recognizing acute HIV infection is critical for early intervention and prevention of further transmission. Your doctor should be vigilant for symptoms such as mouth sores, candidiasis, rash, diarrhea, and weight loss, especially in patients who engaged in high-risk behaviors. By identifying acute HIV infection promptly, we can improve patient outcomes and curb the spread of this virus.